there, my name's Lucy and this is Quick Art. Today I'm going to show you how to do some hand felt making. I've set up this table with some plastic on it. What you're going to need is some muslin cloth, soap flakes, a jug, a bowl, some gloves, a sushi mat. You can also use bubble wrap, some sponges, a towel, a comb as well as scissors, cotton and a needle and I always wear my apron. So this is the wool that we're going to use, available from most craft shops. So it started off in this state and I've used a protein dye to colour it in these various colours and shades. So there's quite a different state you can see between dyed wool and the undyed wool. So when you're using this wool, it just takes a little bit more time to prepare it properly, but will make beautiful results in which you can make patterns and pictures and things. First stage is to get our muslin cloth, lay that out flat. We're going to work out exactly how big we want our piece of felt to be. So what we want to do with the wool is we want to pull it, we don't cut it. Spread it out evenly, avoiding gaps lay the first layer out properly. We want to try to get each piece that we lay down about the same size as the piece before and lay it slightly overlapping. And then every layer we put on top of that will be at right angles with the layer before. So here's another piece. So I'm going to put just one more layer on the top. And I'm going to make that a coloured layer. The wool that's been dyed is going to be a little coarser. So you just have to make sure that you spread it out as evenly as you can. Fibres running the same way. Okay, so now we're ready to start felting it. Now I'll just pop the jug on. What we need to do is get the muslin cloth ready. Now, we can either just start applying the hot water, which is the next stage now, or if you've got a pattern and you want it to stay in place, you can use thread and needle through the felt. Best way really is to work around in circles until you get to the middle. What we're going to need is about a tablespoon of soap flakes to about half a litre of water. So I'm going to put my gloves on now, mix those flakes in. That's all nice and dissolved now. So what we're going to do is start by just dribbling the hot water on top. Next thing you do is gently pat it down. And you'll see areas you need to put more water. So just top those areas up. You have to be very gentle at this stage. You can see it's all saturated with water now. And once it is, it can be started to felt it. Now we want to be going around in the same way, carefully to begin with. After a while, it will start getting a bit harder, so we'll be able to apply more pressure. But patience is the key at this stage. Should take about 30 or 40 minutes to get a nice firm piece. And we want to be doing both sides too. So we're just going to carefully turn that over, pat it down again, and agitate with our hand. Just keep rubbing and rubbing, applying more pressure, keep flipping it over. You notice that the water will start to cool. When it does, just keep applying more hot water because you need hot water to make it work. So do that for about half an hour. Then you can have a peek to see how it's coming along. One sign will be the wool coming up through the mesh. So we'll just get the scissors, cut the cotton, gently pull the mesh up. So you can see it is holding its own and that's a good sign. That means it's ready for the mesh to come off. So just cut any more cotton if you need to. What we have here is a piece that's almost ready. So we just want to peel it off the mesh carefully. So now we just want to carefully continue the agitation with our hands. You may want quite a hard piece of felt or you may want just quite a soft one. Again, don't forget about the back. The longer you felt it for, the stronger and harder the piece of felt will be. So you can see that the fibres are still trying to swim around in it, so they're not felted down very well. 
So that's what you've got to look for to see if it's going to be ready or not. And this process can take 10 minutes, could take an hour. Just depends on how many layers you've done, how well you laid it down, also how well you spread the felt out in the first place. Don't forget that you want to keep your hand going around in the same direction, interlocking those fibres. And again, you may still need to apply more hot water. When we feel like it's ready, pick it up, take it over the sink, but I'm just going to use this bowl, squeeze some of the soap out of it, and rinse it out under cold water. So I've gone and rinsed the piece here. I did it uh, quite aggressively, which means that it gets quite bubbly. If you want to keep it really flat, just be really careful in the rinsing process. So I just want to tidy up the work area a little bit. Soap goes everywhere. And that's good enough for now. So to harden it, there are two ways I can do that. With the sushi mat, you kind of roll it up in it. It's good when you rinse it not to completely get all the soap out because it's going to help with the hardening of it. It might need just a little bit more soap in it just to help with this part. Applying a bit of pressure while I'm doing this. You keep doing this for as long as it takes till you get the required piece of felt you're going for. For me, I can see this is filtered down and it's not going to be used for anything that's very hard wearing. So this would be fine for me to stop now. It's quite satisfying when you get to the stage just to give it a good roll in the mat. So the other way you can harden it is simply by throwing it. Causes a bit more mess. The difference between rolling it with the sushi mat and throwing it is it becomes a bit more organic when you throw it, a bit more bubbly, and if nothing is just going to pull straight off, then it's felted. You may want it completely flat, so that's just up to you just to keep going with it. Felt is very strong, so it will manage to hold itself quite well anyway. I'm happy with how this is now. So again, it's just taking it out to the sink, rinsing it with cold water, and then hanging it somewhere to dry, which can take up to a couple of days in the sun. So allow a lot of time for drying. All right, so there you have it. Basic understanding of hand felting and a few different ways that you can do it. Enjoy, happy felting.